Um, what brings me to Military Makeover is to help volunteer and help get this house ready for uh, this new family. Um, both are vets and uh, yeah, just excited to be a part of the whole collective group. Um, it takes so many people to make this happen and just being a witness and a, a small helper is, is, is pretty nice. Done a few um, projects with them where I volunteered in different states, like uh, different cities like Celeron, Panama, Florida. I think I did Charlotte before and now we're back in Charlotte. Yeah. I think my favorite part is just realizing how handy I am and how how much like how, it's it's a lot easier to, to fix up a place than I think one would one would think. So I just um, I find myself going to the you know the, um, uh, Home Depot or, or, or Lowe's buying drills and more tools just to be more handy around the house. And uh, it's just you know I, I just see everybody working and seeing how, how everybody has such a different craft and I'm learning from everybody and so. It's just, I'm taking away a lot of knowledge. I, I want to redo my garage, and I, I noticed on Military Makeover, they like to use the, the, the plywood to, to put against, uh, to accent a wall. And I saw how easy it is with a nail gun and a drill. I'm like, oh, anybody could do that. So it, 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 now I'm really inspired to take my garage, which is just this, this mess of storage space, and I want to convert it into like a man cave. And I notice every every house on, on the show has a man cave. And I'm like, I don't have a man cave. The hardest assignment was to build a desk from scratch. And uh, Jenny Bertrand, the head designer on Military Makeover, took this this piece of this piece of wood and she was like, this is what I want you to design. And she sketched it out and she she gave it to me and my, my partner was like, you need to make this. And I, it, we, she just gave us this big piece of wood and this design and we had to make her design from what she came up with on the spot. And it was probably the hardest thing to do. Um, but we did it. We built a full on desk with like this really chic modern look and it was painted and stained and there was wood on the side and we did it. So I think that was the hardest thing. <laughs> Stay apocalypse. So I've never had to stain anything before. And uh, they gave they gave me a room to do. I guess is the the monkey's bedroom. And they're like, here, I want the doors to be walnut stained. And so we we got the the, the walnut stainer and we started staining the staining the doors. And uh, of course, we had plastic on the floors, and the paint was dripping on the plastic. I thought the paint was gonna dry on the plastic. The paint didn't dry. So whoever picked it up stained the tile and it created a mess and I got in trouble for it. But, you know, I said my apologies to Jennifer, to everybody. I'm still not conven convinced that we were the ones to do it. I think someone came in, came in and like maybe knocked over a bottle of, of stainer, but some people are pointing fingers at me. I don't know. <laughs> I think what's going through my mind, you know, after one of these trips is the sheer gratitude for what I have at home and for my health and for my family and I just, it, it really, uh, the, the, these experiences take me home, you know, and I'm, uh, and uh, I'm just, I can't believe what these vets go through. So just to be able to see their faces when the reveal um, happens is pretty incredible. And I think everybody should experience uh, this at one point. Just volunteering and helping out, it feels really good.